Hi and welcome to MTB Cooking where we make comfort food videos for you. Today we'll show you how to make a Danish dish called crispy pork patties. They are made with breadcrumbs and uh, they are uh, fried crispy on the pan. So first of all we'll take, um, here we have a pound of uh, chopped uh, pork slash veal. You can use pure pork if you prefer that. So this is um, uh, minced pork that will form into steaks and we do that e the easiest way uh, as you can see in the video by turning, constantly turning the patty as well as flattening it uh, as well. But we want this round edge on the patty in order for it not to be too um, rough or uh, you know we, we want it to be round and kind of homogeneous like a, a hamburger patty. What we can do now is we can take a knife and chop on top of each patty just to remove all of the air that might be trapped uh, within the patty. We now take a couple of eggs that we whisk up with a fork and in another plate we will um, place some panko flakes, it's panko breadcrumbs. It is a Japanese kind of breadcrumb that is a little more um, rough in the texture, it'll give, give even more crispiness to your patties. But you can use regular breadcrumbs if you don't have panko. We salt and pepper uh, our breadcrumbs and then we just mix it all together. In that way we'll get a little bit of seasoning and taste into our patties. So what we do now is we turn over the patty in the egg mixture. Afterwards we will put it into the breadcrumbs and we will do this two times in order to get an even thicker coating on each hamburger patty. This is very essential to double uh, coat the patties. So once again into the eggs and then into the breadcrumbs. We do this with all of our patties and after that we're ready to fry. So we will heat up some butter in a pan and also a little bit of neutral tasting oil. We use sunflower seed oil and that is just to avoid uh, the fat from burning. We then place our patties on this hot pan and we let them cook for around five minutes on each side. Of course, it's important to just keep an eye on them and, and verify that they don't burn um, on the bottom, of course. We turn them over after five minutes and we give them another five on the other side. As you can see, they turn nice and golden brown and crispy, just the way we want it. And you can feel with the tip of your finger uh, and at the moment when they feel firm, they will be finished. They will have cooked completely. So what we'll do now is we'll plate these patties up very Danishly, nicely onto a Royal Copenhagen uh, plate. We put a couple of potatoes on the side. These are just cooked potatoes. They've boiled in water for 15 minutes with their skin on. We place some sweet peas on the side as well as a lovely brown sauce that is also a Danish recipe and we will be up with that recipe very soon here on YouTube. So this is what a real typical Danish plate looks like when you have dinner, especially back in the days. These days Danes do eat differently and more international dishes, but it was, uh, kind of a traditional uh, meal for, for many many years in Denmark. As you can see the meat is juicy, tender, cooked through, wonderful. Of course we'll dip it into the sauce and then just yeah we'll just uh, dive in and, um, and enjoy ourselves. Thank you for watching this video. Please go to our channel, subscribe and like uh, this video. Find us on Instagram and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!